Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers, welcome. So I wanted to make a long overdue feminine school slash cautionary tale video about a very common seduction and grooming tactic that is used by both men and women. But for this channel's purposes, I will be focusing on the future faking seduction tactics of men. And this video was inspired, of course, by the visceral response to the situationships of both Danny Lay and Summer Walker, and most recently with actress and comedian Tiffany Haddish, and so many women who find themselves in similar situations and who have walked in similar shoes. Now, this video is really for my younger, inexperienced young ladies, under 25, who will usually not have enough life experience to understand when they are being gamed and conned and strung along in the romantic department of love. But this video can also apply to women who choose to ignore when a man demonstrates a historical pattern in his romantic relationships by wanting to believe that they are the exception and the rule. Now, before I get into the breakdown of future faking, I wanted to highlight some of the wonderful comments from our hypergamous community over on Instagram in response to the current breakup of serial monogamist Common and comedian Tiffany Haddish. One reader said, I was alarmed when they got together. She seemed way more excited than him. And unfortunately, I thought it would only be a matter of time. Common does not want anybody. He might want some company, but he doesn't want to be with nobody. Another person wrote, even with therapy, overcoming childhood trauma is difficult. A lot of people date who they needed as a parent. For example, he probably dates masculine women because his inner child is seeking a protector. And Tiffany probably dates feminine men because it gives her a false sense of security that she's in control and can make him stay due to her abandonment issues. I wish them both the best moving forward. And lastly, I wanted to share this tweet. Always give a man the opportunity to publicly claim you. When a woman claims a man first, she almost always ends up with egg on her face. So Common is clearly not only a commitment phobe, but his red flag sign relationship history speaks for itself. Now, future faking is a very strategic love con game and is a common love fraud scheme that will often be used by men to con a woman out of anything, but most notably her goodies, her time, her affection, her attention, her mothering, and in many cases, her financial resources. Now by textbook definition, future faking is when a person uses the word salad of a romantic magical promise of a detailed future together which will often be music to a desperate woman's ears or a codependent woman or a mothering woman's ears. And future faking is used to mock the feeling of a strong bond and or a connection in attempts to disarm your heartstrings, to get attention from you, to make you feel needed and or to get admiration from you. And it is a very powerful seduction practice that will often be used by online scammers, narcissists, Casanovas, commitment phobes like Common, gigolos, lotharios, and or people who are expertly attuned at lie telling. The promise of marriage forever until death do us part is quite irresistible and very seductive as human beings are wired for companionship, partnership, togetherness, family, and are wired to want to be cared for which is why it can be quite easy to fall for a man's flattery and his sincere, meaningful words. And it can feel so good to be on the receiving end of attention, narcissistic love bombing, and or worship. So here are the seven common red flag signs of future faking. Number one, flattery. Flattery is the seductive, strategic use of manipulative wordplay to hand out unearned praise to get a woman to lower her defenses. Have you ever had someone tell you that you look better without makeup? That you look better than a runway model in your three day old sweatpants? Well then welcome to the world of flattery where a person's ego wants to hear great things about themselves when they haven't even earned them. And where a woman's ego wants to hear things about herself that aren't even true. And this flattery on steroids is also known as narcissistic love bombing. Ladies, if a man does not know you from a can of paint 
and is pouring it on and is laying it on thick in the compliments and the worship department. That is called love bombing and love bombing is used by Decepticon men because it works. Number two, the promise of a future on your dime, of course. A future faker will promise you the world on a crystal platter, but will use your credit, your bank accounts, your kindness, and your financial sponsorship to bankroll the promise of happily ever after. Number three, future fakers will generally seek out mothering and or masculina types, as they are typically women who are proud, independent woman types, who will usually not ask for reciprocity in their romantic relationships. Number four, future faking will often simply be used by cheapskate men or poor men who don't have the money to court, to flatter, or to financially impress. So they will use word salad and a woman's lack of standards to get easy access to get laid. And yes, it is true, ladies. Most men will do and say anything to get laid. Number five, future fakers have zero to low integrity. Integrity, ladies, is a person's consistent ability to align their words with their actions. People who have very little integrity will usually talk a good game of loyalty, but will never back up their words with actions follow through dependability or reliability. You also need to look at that person's relationship history to decipher whether there is a toxic pattern and has this person interrupted this pattern by sitting themselves in the nearest therapist chair. If not, ladies, that pattern will be repeated with you. Number six, future fakers are good at grooming. Emotional grooming is the subtle art of forging an emotional bond in an effort to set the stages of manipulation, gaslighting, exploitation, and or abuse in the future. Groomers are excellent at applying pressure, taking a woman's temperature in terms of her self-esteem and her self-worth, and they are experts at figuring out a woman's tolerance and her threshold levels for dysfunction, being strung along, abuse, and pain. And number seven, Future fakers will usually have a disastrous relationship history. And more importantly, they will play the blame game and will usually take zero actionable accountability for the demise of their past relationships. Instead, they will use flattery to make you believe that you are better and that you are different than all the others. So how does a woman begin to avoid future faking? A solution by making sure that she treats herself like the prize, that she works on her womanly self-esteem and her confidence by vetting, by roster dating, by being hypergamous as future faking Decepticons are usually never generous with their giving unless there are strings attached by being observant of that man's relationship history and by being observant of a man's integrity and his levels of patience. A man does not need to have the patience of the Dalai Lama, but future fakers are generally men who like to rush things as their goal is to come into your life to make you a placeholder before you figure out who they are and before the relationship goes off the rails and crashes and burns. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Uh, future faking is pretty common as predatory men, commitment phobes, immature men, narcissistic men, and unserious men come in all flavors, shapes, races, nationalities, and sizes. And in Common's case, ladies, he may be handsome and he may be successful, but in my opinion, there is nothing about him that screams provider, protector, or a man who is looking to be a masculine compliment to a feminine woman. So ladies, if you are hopeful for committed companionship, especially in the form of provision, hypergamy, and marriage, a future faker will make sure to it that he will receive more on his end than you ever will in your feminine. So ladies, a womanhood conversation in this modern day and age and dating climate, is it easier for a woman to fall for the practice and the seduction of future faking? And in your opinion, is Common a future faker or is he just a lifelong bachelor? And please do not compare Common to George Clooney because at the very least, George Clooney was married in his late 20s for four years to actress Talia Balsam, who is currently married to actor John Slattery. But in the meantime, Common has never ever been married. 
because as a double standard, lifelong bachelors don't ever have to worry about the stigma of single shaming the way that women do. So as always, I look forward to reading your amazing comments about this video below and stay tuned for more feminine school and cautionary tales to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers and ear hustlers in the next one.